Hi there, please follow me along if you want to learn how to work with georeferenced imagery and local tile directories in GLS3. NASA's Visible Earth is a pretty cool collection of georeferenced imagery and what we're going to do today, we're going to use this file which is a geotiff and create a map in GeoLayers from it. I downloaded this image and apart from being pretty huge, it is um, 21,600 by 10,800 pixels, 200 megabytes. Um, apart from that, the map projection of the image does not fit to a standard GeoLayers map. A map projection is sort of like if you would unwrap a sphere to a two-dimensional representation of its surface, um, how you would exactly do this. GeoLayers works with the so-called Mercator projection, which looks something like this. And what we can see here is a equirectangular projection. So both of those obviously don't fit together. To reproject this imagery, I'm using MapTeller Desktop. Um, you could also use other software like uh, QGIS, for example. I'm going to show you this process with MapTeller Desktop because it's super quick and easy. First step, I'm going to drag my downloaded GeoTIFF onto the application. The application reads the file, it knows its projection, so its coordinates and its geolocation. So the import worked, we can click export. Now we have a bunch of options here. We're going to go with the folder of tiles here. So I'm going to click that one. Next step, uh, we get a bunch of options here. So the transparency, we don't have transparency, so we can s switch this to no. And then we're going to get JPEG file format with the quality setting. Based on the size of the source image, it knows that a max zoom of five works out. We can switch on high DPI which will simply render the tiles in the double size. Now I hit render. Now all we need to do is select the directory and MapTeller Desktop starts rendering. Once that's done, we can hit continue and quit MapTeller Desktop. Back in After Effects, I'm going to change the imagery of my map comp right here. I'm going to hide this layer. Click on the settings. And I'm going to hit this little plus icon here. Like this, we can create a new imagery preset. As a source, I'm going to pick a local tile directory, the one that we just created. GLS is going to tell me, please select a tile imagery inside a tile directory. So we're going to do that. We're going to find the folder that we just created. And inside the folder, I'm going to select one of the tiles and hit OK. Now we get notified, great, a tile directory in the zoom range. 0 to 4 has been detected. If your map doesn't look right, you can try to switch from XYZ to TMS. In our case, XYZ is correct. If that doesn't help, you can swap the X and Y variable in the URI mask. But in our case, it all went right. So I'm going to hit apply and apply again. And like that, we can use imagery from our downloaded GeoTIFF inside GeoLayers. Like this, you can easily store map imagery on your local machine or a network share and access it with GeoLayers. Bye.